A Type IV Civilization, or K4 Civilization, harnesses the power of its own supercluster of galaxies, and eventually its universe of origin, and becomes effectively immortal. A civilization this advanced could tap into the mysterious dark matter and manipulate the basic fabric of space-time. This all started way back in 1964, the Soviet scientist Nikola Kardashev developed a classification system that grouped civilizations based on their technological progress and energy consumption. This scale, known as the Kardashev scale, ranges from Type 1 which represents a civilization that has not yet harnessed the full potential of its own planet to Type 3, which can harness the energy of an entire galaxy. It is a humbling realization that despite all the technological advancements humanity has achieved we still remain at the lowest level of Kardashev's scale. We proudly occupy the position of a Type 0 civilization. This means that we have not yet achieved the ability to harness all of the energy available on our planet, nor have we established a sustainable global energy infrastructure. Humans currently have a score of 0.73. We had an average power consumption of 18.4 terawatt way back in 2018. The interplay between energy and technology is a fundamental principle that underlies the progress of civilizations. As society gains access to more energy sources, it can develop new technologies that enable it to harness even more energy leading to a self-reinforcing cycle of advancement. Imagine a world where the sky is not just a ceiling, but a gateway to the stars. A world where humanity has unlocked the secrets of the universe and harnessed its boundless energy to power its civilization. This is not a distant dream, but a reality that exists beyond our imagination. Michio Kaku, an American theoretical physicist, calculated that if we increase our power consumption by 3% each year, we will reach Type 1 civilization in 100 to 200 years. A Type 1 civilization has mastered all the energy available to their home planet, available from a neighboring star. It extracts its energy information and raw materials from fission and fusion power and renewable resources. Also capable of interplanetary spaceflight and communication, mega-scale planetary engineering and medical breakthroughs to eliminate disease and slow aging. The species is tech augmented, but is still vulnerable to extinction. A Type 1 civilization is not limited to a single planet, but has established a presence on multiple planets and moons within their solar system. They have formed a unified government that spans across these planets and enables interplanetary trade, research and collaboration. Their technological advancements have enabled them to augment themselves and their capabilities, but they are not invincible and are still susceptible to extinction. As Michio Kaku explains in his book, Physics of the Future Type, one civilization's harvest planetary power utilizing all the sunlight that strikes their planet. They can perhaps harness the power of volcanoes, manipulate the weather, control earthquakes, and build cities on the ocean. All planetary power is within their control. This level of control over the natural world is truly astounding and shows just how far a civilization can progress when it masters energy and technology. All this talk about Type 1 civilizations might make it seem like we'd have superpowers. But that's nothing compared to what civilizations of Type 2 are capable of. Have you ever heard about a Dyson Sphere? This is where a Type 2 civilization comes in. One of the most famous examples of a star that has generated a lot of interest among astronomers and the public alike is the Tabby Star. This star located approximately 1470 light years away from Earth in the constellation Cygnus was discovered by the Kepler Space Telescope in 2015. The Tabby Star gained widespread attention because of its unusual and erratic light patterns. It appeared to dim by up to 20% at irregular intervals which was not consistent with any natural phenomenon that had been observed before. Some astronomers speculated that the dimming could be caused by a swarm of comets passing in front of the star, or perhaps even by an alien megastructure like a Dyson Sphere. A Dyson Sphere is a hypothetical megastructure proposed by physicist Freeman Dyson, which is essentially a spherical shell built around a star to capture its energy. The energy can then be used to power the civilization's infrastructure and technology, Building a Dyson Sphere would require an enormous amount of resources and technology and is not something that we are currently capable of as a civilization. These civilizations are able to harness the energy of an entire star by building a Dyson Sphere around it. However, there have been some intriguing discoveries that have raised questions about the possibility of advanced civilizations harnessing the energy of stars. If a civilization were able to build a Dyson Sphere around a star, 
they would have access to an immense amount of energy that would allow them to power technology and infrastructure on a scale that is currently unimaginable for us. They would have the ability to manipulate the energy output of the star and could potentially even create artificial gravity and black holes. Type II civilizations would also have the ability to colonize entire star systems. They would be able to build habitats and infrastructure on planets and moons, and could potentially even to reform these worlds to make them habitable for their species. They would also have the ability to manipulate the orbits of planets and moons, and could potentially even create their own star systems. According to Karnashev, this kind of civilization is so advanced that it's almost godlike. The only type of civilization that could surpass it is a Type III civilization. Imagine an entire galaxy with every solar system completely dismantled and every star enclosed in a Dyson cloud of energy extracting solar cells. Can you try and imagine how powerful this civilization would be? They could travel faster than the speed of light and manipulate gravity and electromagnetic fields. They would travel using some sort of propulsion technology we do not know yet, being able to travel the galaxy in a couple of hours or days. In a 2015 study astronomers estimated that the existence of such a civilization in our local universe is extremely rare. But if they do exist galaxies would be like simple homes for them and planets would be nothing but stones in their path. They would have the ability to manipulate the very fabric of space and time, control the movements of stars, and extract energy from the most powerful phenomena in the universe such as supernovae and black holes. We can't even imagine what else can happen if we reach this level of civilization. It is estimated that humans may take about a million years to reach this level if we will be able to maintain our race till then. Right now we obviously can't see anything like that, and there are two possible explanations for why. It's either there's no civilization that has reached this level, or it's possible that these advanced beings have developed so rapidly and with such advanced technology that they have been able to cover their tracks and remain undetected. With all these you may think this should be the most powerful and advanced civilization. Even Kardashev himself believed that there could only be three types of civilization. But can some other civilization be even more advanced than all of them? A Type IV civilization. In his original scale, Nikolai Kardashev introduced only three levels of civilization as he believed that the energy of the whole galaxy could cover any life forms needed. Some other scientists went much further and updated the scale. Imagining the possibilities of civilizations far beyond Type III. They could manipulate and rearrange the galaxies like construction sets creating new planetary systems, or even erasing something that was no longer needed from the universe. Of course to achieve this level of control such a civilization would need to discover new laws of physics that are currently beyond human comprehension. But the mere possibility of such an advanced civilization is a testament to the vast potential of the universe, and the endless mysteries waiting to be uncovered. Friends, what are your thoughts about these advanced civilizations? Mention your thoughts in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification. And thank you for watching this video until the end.